What is up YouTube and welcome to this Justice League video. So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super, super appreciated. So this is going to be a Justice League video, which probably will have spoilers for the Justice League movie, kind of just speculation and of course leaks, which may actually turn out to be true. So I just want to let you know as well, I've got some Arrowverse stuff I put up on the channel yesterday, which you can go and check out and enjoy. And I've got a Walking Dead video coming up as well. Further to this, I also have hit 10,000 subscribers, which I am super, super happy about. I have to thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing. And also, I will be doing a Q&A this weekend. So if you want to drop any questions down below, it doesn't have to be comic books, doesn't have to be DC related, it can be absolutely anything due to the world of media because here at Superhero Nexus we cover absolutely everything because we love absolutely everything. But what is going on with Justice League? Now an interesting, very, very nice little tidbit of news has come from the Chinese promotional tour of the Justice League movie. So good old Gal Gadot has in dropped a very cool piece of news in the fact that Wonder Woman was changed after Batman vs Superman. She revealed a nice bit of news about Wonder Woman in the fact that she has been retconned and that she has changed and all types of different things after Batman vs Superman, which is quite curious because, well, they changed her history and her style. So I'll read what she said. We realised that actually there is no way that Wonder Woman will ever give up on mankind. The reason why she left the island was because she wanted to make their life better and safer. They are her calling, so I'm giving you a very honest answer. Sometimes in a creative process, you establish something that is not necessarily the right decision, but then you can always correct it and change it. So Wonder Woman will always be there as far as she concerns for mankind. So that's quite cool there in the way that Wonder Woman has completely changed after Wonder Woman in a post Wonder Woman solo movie world where we did actually get Wonder Woman in Batman vs Superman she worked well which presumably she still worked for the Louvre I, I would expect but she seemingly didn't turn her back on humanity so what is weird here is the fact that so she was interest she was in the world in Batman vs Superman and Gal Gadot is saying that well she never turned her back and that is what's changed after Wonder Woman so part of me is like well she did still exist in this world she was going to the Lex Luthor party she also was I would presume part of the museum or something like that and then in Wonder Woman they fleshed out her character which I don't blame them for doing so they wanted to put Wonder Woman in there but they didn't know how the hell she came to be who she actually is which now they're saying that she completely changed and she got off the plane and then suddenly had her gear and everything with her already so part of me is thinking that this change is not the fact that she simply stopped becoming Wonder Woman and or not simply that she turned her back away because she was in the world of man. She didn't go back to her home after Wonder Woman the movie. But what I'm thinking here is the fact that she never actually stopped being Wonder Woman. And what I think she's getting at is here that after, obviously, when she said that she turned her back 100 years ago, she looked at World War One and was like, oh God, I can't, I can't ever kind of go back, which I would probably presume that she meant world war Two, because obviously everything that happens in wonder woman took place in world war one and then humanity somehow let one or wonder woman world war Two happen again which is incredibly irresponsible and that actually happened and well she's probably like you know what you, you've you've screwed it I, i'm not coming back i'm not coming back to save you from a greek god i'm not coming back whatsoever to save you, you you're done but no, I think what they've changed here is simply the fact that she came back and, well, she st stayed in the world going around and becoming who she actually was and being Wonder Woman, which I, I think if that happened, they're going to have to forget the whole metahuman image thing where she wanted the image actually st stolen or stolen from Lex Luthor or stop him from actually having. I guess they're going to have to forget that and simply Wonder Woman was retconned 
to not have to want that. So it can be weird if you go back and watch all these movies together. I think that she actually stuck around and helped out, which I think what will happen is hopefully we learn more of her world and her history during Justice League. And then we also learn more in the Wonder Woman 2 movie, the sequel to her solo movie. I expect this will probably take place after Justice League. But what I hope is it is a villain from her past and then we can have flashbacks and things like that. We can get a modern day adventure, which I think would be really, really bleeding cool, which is something I want to see. So as well as this, we've got some very interesting leaks over on the internet all about the upcoming movie. And one thing here is the fact that we got a leak about Green Lantern. So we all know that there is going to be some sort of prologue or flashback scene to Steppenwolf's first invasion of Earth. And what is cool about this is the fact that, well, we're going to see quite a few different people. We're going to see the Amazonians, the Atlanteans, the humans, possibly the Thanagarians that we saw in the trailer. It looked like people were flying, but now I'm starting to think it might just simply be the Amazonians jumping really, really high. And we also got to see either Zeus or Shazam in the movie as well, in the one of the past trailers just gone so i'll let you decide who you think that could actually be but we also hear that the green lanterns were actually involved in this fight as well so the green lanterns apparently there are a few or at least at least one who actually come down and fight on behalf of earth and actually gets killed by steppenwolf and the ring simply just flies off now this is coming out of the chinese screenings And as well as this, they are also coming out of the Paris Comic Con story as well. So that's quite a big thing there that we'll get that. And I think probably that's the closest we'll get to having a Green Lantern in the movie. I would love to see Hal Jordan pop up because Hal Jordan was one of my favorite comic books. It was like the first thing that got me into comics, to be honest. I started reading the Green Lantern Rebirth, which is probably one of my first ever comic books I think that I read. And I absolutely loved it. So I highly recommend checking that as well. But it's going to be cool to see that we've got a Green Lantern of Earth. And I think that's what Steppenwolf means when he says there's no Kryptonians, no lanterns. In the fact that he knows about these lanterns. And because obviously he actually killed one. Which would set up Green Lantern the movie. Absolutely awesome. Further to all of this as well, we've had some news come out today that there are very, very big rumours that the Flashpoint movie will depend entirely upon the success of the Justice League movie itself, which, you know what, I really, really can't blame these guys for wanting to be incredibly cautious about Flashpoint and the Flash Because, well, we don't have a director, we barely even have a movie or an idea for it yet, or just simply the the fact that it is Flashpoint, which, if you don't know what Flashpoint is, it is simply where the Flash goes back in time to save his mother from being killed from, by, by arguably, his ultimate enemy, which is the reverse Flash Eobard Thorn. It has been covered in the Flash TV show, it has been covered in a very, very good comic book series flashpoint which you can pick up you can even just read that without actually reading any of the previous canon to be honest all you need to know is that the mother of the flash barry allen was actually killed by the reverse flash back in time and then he goes and changes things and we had a instant instant fan favorite in the form of thomas wayne which the question is if they do do flashpoint will we actually be able to get the amazing Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Thomas Wayne. Of course, he is Thomas Wayne in the universe at the moment, considering he is in the Batman vs. Superman prologue kind of flashback thing for Batman. And, well, I I can't blame them for wanting to hold on on Flashpoint because, in my opinion, they, they kind of dropped the ball with it on the Flash TV show and maybe that is to do with the fact that it is going to be Flashpoint here over on the DCEU, which not only does Barry save his mother, but he opens up a world where the Atlanteans and the Amazonians are at war, and he has to 
kind of stop his mistake, but he also loses his powers. So there's quite a lot going on on there. And the fact that they don't have a director, and it seems like there's a lot of problems going on at Warner Brothers, well, they're going to have to try and work that out before this. And I expect they'll probably want to see the reaction to The Flash and what people liked about him before they actually move forward on this. And I can't help but think that the Aquaman movie is a slam dunk already, considering that even the casual DC fans absolutely love Jason Momoa. But that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.